Now, I've experienced incredible power and in unlocking certain things in my life and activations that are clearly very obvious, even externally to other people as well, that I am unlocking these powers and that I am moving them successfully. So what I want to do in this video is I want to share with you guys some of my most favorite crystal tools and how I use those to achieve these kinds of energies in my life. And I'm gonna break it down for you and some of these things might sound a little silly and might be a little embarrassing for me to share what I'm actually doing with these tools. But the truth is, is that I believe that you can reference this and kind of mirror it and see how you can use this with your own crystal tools to advance your life and to move energy. So that's what this video is. Now, welcome to Vibes and Frequencies. I'm Nathan, and I make videos to help people to be the most powerful expression of themselves. And today, the most powerful expression of yourself that I'm talking about is the part that is able to use tools to increase the fluidity and ease of the work that you are doing here. When we think about what a tool is, we have a project. We have something we are going to create, right? We have something that we are reaching for. A tool helps us and is specifically designed to make this process easier, to make it easier to get to the next level of this. So this is exactly what crystals are. They are tools that we can bring in to help us to arc our intention. Our intention is something that we can arc and we can move and we can point. And our intention carries massive power and energy to it. Crystals are something that we are able to channel that energy of intention into and they're able to hold it as memory. Now crystals, I believe it's especially quartz, I've heard this many times, you may have as well, are used all throughout technology. Computers have this in there, they're actually programmed to help to hold memory. I find this very interesting, just figured I'd casually mention that to you, that even in this realm of science and equipment with technology and computers, they're using crystals in these interesting kinds of ways. Now I believe that everything that is physical has an energetic counterpart and everything that is energetic has a physical counterpart. We are experiencing ourselves in a mass of dimensions. So many, it is so deep that you are literally swimming through the thickest form of fabric you could imagine. And it is incredible. It's this whole human experience we are playing out for us. Now in this experience, there are certain things we will be drawn to, to evolutionize ourselves, to keep growing. These are the things that we find ourselves like a moth to the flame to, transformational experiences. So the very first tool that I wanna show you is actually just simply a piece of selenite. So this is actually one that I literally hold in my hand like this, and I use it to clear energy. And I actually can move energy in the space that I'm in with this tool. I can actually move the energy of the room and I can actually cancel out specific energies that might be sapping and seeding away from what my intention actually is. So I use this, for example, when I'm about to make a YouTube video. Sometimes I find myself too caught up in my mind, thinking too much, worrying, caring so much about how the video is coming out, if this is going to be understandable, if this is gonna do well, you know, all these, all these things that really detract and pull away from the power of my expression. So what I do is I hold this in my hand and I literally say, <laughs> it sounds so goofy, I know, but I literally go, I don't care, I don't care. And that's it. I've just cleared all the cares from the room. I don't care anymore. I give this movement and this tool the power and permission to amplify my intention of letting go of worrying and caring in the first place. This is a piece of quartz on a ring, clearly. <laughs> it's my quartz ring. Now, this one I use to amplify my creations. I see my dominant hand, which is my right hand, as the tool that I use to create. This is what I reach out and touch things in the physical with. So I keep this on my right hand on my pointer finger because my pointer finger, to me, symbolizes the direction that I point energy to move in. I direct my creation with my pointer finger. So anything that I am creating is coming through through energetically from my own perception and symbolism of my own reality here is coming through this point with this finger. So therefore, when I'm wearing this ring and I'm creating something in a video, I simply amplify everything to make it bigger, more powerful, right? So this is exactly how I use this. This is how we can use tools. I wear a Moldavite necklace over my heart 
And this is a tool that allows me to always be living from my heart space, always be living from a space of presence. And when I'm not, it is my symbol of trust that I will find my way again. This is what it does for me. These are how we can use these tools, right? This is literally how we can do it. I'll show you one last one because I want to point out to you how powerful you can really exercise yourself when you're using crystals. Like we can do things so grand when our beliefs are aligned with it. If we can align our beliefs with crystals and we can draw the bar just a little bit higher from some of the limits that we might believe that these things have, we can move mountains. We can do incredible things because the power is all yours. The more you work with crystals, the more you'll start to realize that and the more you can actually make it so that crystals do a lot more than they are right now. So this one here is a piece of amethyst. This is my favorite piece. I'm very drawn to it for particular reasons. You might be able to tell it's quite beautiful. <laughs> I'm very excited about this one. Mwah. Now, what I do with this one is I put it behind my pillow when I go to sleep. And what this tool does is it makes it so that every single night when I go to sleep and I wake up into higher dimensions of myself, I am consciously able to bring those things into my day-to-day -day lives. So this, what this is doing is increasing the amount of downloads that I'm receiving in the day following me sleeping with it. Let me say this a little bit differently. I wake up upgraded every single morning because I go to sleep with this above my head. And guess what? I experience these things to be true. I feel connected higher and higher every single morning because I go to sleep with this. When I wave this before making my YouTube video, I believe that there is nothing that matters, that I am completely carefree. When I wear this ring, I believe that everything I create will have incredible increased impact. This is why I am experiencing the power of these things is because I know how to harness my beliefs to activate this energy and I truly believe in it. Now, when people might be struggling to experience magic in their lives and they're seeing that other people are having an easier time with this and they might be lacking, a potential problem for you is that you don't believe you might want to believe, but you must believe to activate these things. And this is part of the incredible power that you actually are. Your reality is essentially reflecting your beliefs to you because your power, who you are, literally is reality itself. You are creating the entire experience. Your beliefs are things that you pick up along the way and you carry around and you use those to keep reflecting repeated instances and circumstances to yourself. So you might want to believe, you might want to experience this kind of power, who wouldn't? But if you don't truly believe that when you wave your piece of selenite in the air that you are canceling all the cares in the room, then you will not experience that to be true because you are unlimited with the power of your beliefs. Again, all the power we exercise comes from us and within us. And we are literally everything, like literally. What crystals and other magical tools are doing is allowing us to amplify and arc that energy in a much more intentional and in a sense kind of evolutionized way. There, it's literally just the ability to make this process easier. We would be doing this anyways. These are tools to make the journey easier, perhaps more fun, exciting, <laughs> freaking freaking fresh, you know? <laughs> so these are just some of the things that I do pretty excitingly, I believe, <laughs> with my crystals. I'm just adjusting my camera here, apologies. These are some of the things that I do. And you really are unlimited. The only limit is literally your imagination with what you can imagine. Because whatever you can imagine, if you simply align your beliefs with it, you can exercise your power so much further than you could possibly imagine. It really is unlimited, and I'm starting to tap into that, and I'm starting to really feel it. So what's interesting is that I used to believe that, and there's nothing wrong with this belief, all truths are true, and also everything is completely false. So there is no right, there is no wrong. We are all on our own path of what those things mean, right? So it's like I'm being serious, I'm not just saying this as a disclaimer, it's I'm very serious. All of these things are true and false at the same time. So I used to believe that a crystal literally 
carried this crazy power that was going to come in and change everything. And guess what? That is exactly what I experienced because it was my belief arcing into the crystal and amplifying that into reality. I was literally creating the power of the crystal by using the power of the crystal. You see what I'm saying? It is beautiful and it is so simple. It is so easy. <laughs> you just do it. You just do it. The only thing that makes these things difficult are the things that we may tell ourselves to, that hold us back. Things that are things other people may have told us in our lives. Magic isn't real. That's just the placebo effect. You're dumb. <laughs> Who cares? <laughs> you are powerful. And by using crystal tools, you can grow that power and tend to it and nurture it. So when I realized that the power of crystals was actually the power of me, you'd think that I would stop using crystals because, well, I don't need them anymore. Look, <laughs> once you know where the power is coming from, you can use crystals even more effectively. You can start doing rituals. You can start doing practices. You can start melting through different dimensions of reality when you unlock where this power is coming from. And you can grow that when you use crystals as tools. So if you're somebody who also loves crystals and you've got a specific tool that you use it for and a method that you use it, I would actually love to hear. I'm pretty excited about this topic right now especially since I've been sleeping with my amethyst. I can't even believe the incredible transformation I'm experiencing simply because of my ability to give myself permission to evolve while I sleep. <laughs> Think how powerful that is. I evolve while I sleep. Things happen for me and my reality becomes more magical literally while I'm just sleeping. I don't have to do anything. <laughs> this is the power of our beliefs. This is the power of crystals. Once again, my name is Nathan. I do make three videos a week, so you should totally subscribe so that you can see the next one and I'll see you there if you do. <laughs> All right. Have a good one. Bye.